Hi, I'm Glenna Generis, and I'll be leading you through a Pilates class today. Today's class we're calling Tri-Level Pilates, and that's because we'll be working in standing exercises, some kneeling and seated exercises, and then of course the lying down on the mat exercises. So we will start standing and finish standing and have a little standing in the middle. Work on a little more balance today. So enjoy the class, take breaks when you need to, of course, make any modifications. Have a good time, here we, here we go. Start with your feet directly under your hips. Pull your shoulders back, feel tall through your spine. Reach the arms to the side and up, inhale. Press down, exhale. Three more, starting to awaken energy through the body. Make your breath full and deep. Lengthen and lift, big stretch. The next time the arms go up, keep them over your head. We'll be bending down at the knees, pulling back in the hips, swinging through and reaching. Exhale on your way down, inhale on your way up. Bring some stretching into the torso, loosening up through the hips. Two more. Sweep down, stretch up. Last one, stop at the top. Let's bring the arms outside to a T-shape. We're going to do a lateral lunge, stepping to your right. Down and to the center. Step and press and close it in. You can have the arm reflect the movement coming center and then opening as you lunge out. Continue going to your right, bending, pressing. Cushion that landing, use that core. Stretch through the inner thighs and hips. Two more to your right. Press out, return, last one. Let's go to the left. Take it down and come through. Lateral lunge, feel that strength. Exhale, inhale, body long, inner thigh and hip, Nice big stretch. Out and down, two more, going left. Body angled forward and return. Last one. Take a wide stance. Plie squats, knees wide as the hips go down and then straighten. Exhale, inhale. We'll continue this movement and we'll add some arm circles. Down when you bend your knees and up when you straighten. Press and lift. Feel the stretch into the hips. Strong in the core. Take a deep breath. Open. Bend wide. Circle down and up. Two more. Feel the stretch. Reach up last time. Bend the knees and bring the arms out beside you. Feel strong in your core. Raise your heels up and down. Pushing through the balls of the feet, lifting the heels, feeling the core. Wide through the thighs, open through the hips. Keep that head tall, keep that neck long. Arms out in a T-shape, heels press. Feel that balance, awaken that center energy. Three more. Push, lift, and finish. Straighten your legs, bring the arms down, and toe heel it in. You may go down on your knees now. Right leg to the side. Bring the arms out, hands behind the head. Lateral flexion away from the leg, left side. Return, long stretch, and recover. Awaken those side obliques. Feel that exhale, stretch away. Anchor with energy in the pelvis. Move the spine nice and long and hinge away. Expand your chest, keep your elbows out. Going to your left, two more. Big stretching, exhale, returning, strengthening, inhale. Change sides. Bring that knee in 
and extend the left leg out. Place the hands behind the head, chest open, ready to stretch away. Feel that length and breathe. Chest open, elbows wide. Stretching, lengthening quality, reaching and lifting. Exhaling and inhaling. Anchor down through that left side, flex away to the right. Chest open, big expansed reach. Two more. Awakening the side oblique strength and energy one more time. Center, arms out, bring it all in. Hands and knees. We'll do some cat cow. Square the shoulders over the wrists. Stack the hips over the knees and hollow the belly up and take a flexion. Exhale. Go through neutral and an extension. Inhale. Cat pose. Flex. Reach long cow pose. Extend and stretch. Exhale. Pull that belly up. Drop that head and tail. Long reach. Chest and tail up. One more, scooping and stretching, lengthening and lifting. Neutral spine, nice and square. Keep your abdominals engaged, raise your right leg and push out through your heel, bring it in, knee down, alternate sides. Keeping the core strong, keeping the pelvis level and flat. Breathing out and in, lift, push, out and down. Five more, push and pull. Spine straight, strong core. Exhale, reach. Last two, feel that push. Now when you extend your right leg, you're gonna keep your leg out, put the ball of the foot down. Feel strong in your center and your shoulders and left leg joins for a high plank push-up position where we will stay in a static pose for three more deep breaths. Awakening that core, feeling that breath, strong in your abdominals. Take one more breath, and then place your knees down, and have a seat facing front. Can-can, hands down, knees bent, twisting three times, start to your right. Roll to the side, come up and over. Stay to the right, and stretch the legs. Bend the knees for the can-can, Feel the twist. Come across. Stay to your left and stretch. Up and down. Twist away. Stay with the twist and reach. Extend and bend the knees. Feel that core work. Feel that control. Stay with the reach. Lengthen and bend. Two more sets. Can, can, twist. Come across. Stay to your right. Stretch and bend. Last set. Cross and cross. Stay left, hold the stretch here. Hold those legs out. This is called fan. You open the legs into a straddle, bend the bottom leg, cross the top leg, flex the body down, let the spine release, drop the head, and feel the stretch in your hips. Take another breath. Put the hands behind you, rolling left. Open the legs, stretch into the straddle. Bend the bottom leg, fold the top leg. Feel the release of your hips as you flex your body and let your head drop, reach, stretch, take another full breath. One more fan in each direction. Hands down for support, rolling right. Open to the straddle, cross and fold. Flex and reach, drop the head and stretch, take another breath. Last one, hands down, open, roll. Big fan, open stretch. Cross fold, hip release, torso flexion, neck release. Take another breath and come up, uncross. Lie down on your back, a nice long stretch through your spine. Take a breath here and start angel arms. We will be reaching out in circles, up and down. Sweep, extend, and lower circular path long through your spine angel arms stretching through your chest and shoulders keeping the arms as close to the floor as you can keeping the breath full and deep one more 
Inhale up, circle, press away and down, exhale. Arms beside you on the mat. Bend your knees to place your feet down. Engage the core of the body by activating the abdominals and push through the feet to start a bridge of the spine. Peel up, tailbone, sacrum, lumbar, thoracic vertebra. Hold the hips high, activate the glutes, reverse it down. Roll the spine back into neutral. We will do that two more times. Push down to roll up, articulate and lift. Stretch the hips, lengthen. One vertebra at a time, stretching down and reverse, roll through. And on the next spine bridge, you come up with that slow energy and that stretching feeling, and you get a stronger lift because you're gonna maintain it while you march. Push through one foot and flex the other thigh up, alternating sides. Feel the spine long and straight, hips high. Push through the foot. We will do this six more times. Option of the arms on the mat or reaching up to the ceiling. A little more challenge for that stronger core. Flex and push, lift, march and breathe. Reach, last one. When both feet are down, the spine rolls down with that stretching quality as your arms return to the mat as well. Hug your knees to your chest briefly. Extend your left leg. Left hand on the right knee, bring it over. Lower body, stretch and twist left. Upper body, open and expand right. We have two deep breaths here. Really feel that opposition. Knee towards the floor, chest open. Engage the abdominals to bring you back to the center. Switching sides, right leg goes long. Left knee comes up. Pull it over the body. Knee towards the floor on the right. Chest open, expanded left. Looking left, reaching through that open, lengthened arm. Knee to the side, twisting away. And again, a full breath. Deepen it. Use those abdominals. Pull back. Find that centered pelvis. Prepare for the 100. As you start with your feet down and your knees bent, feel strong in your core. Inhale, arms back over your head. Exhale, feet up, bent knees, arms forward, belly deep. Pump the arms, breathe in, breathe out. Keep your head still, breathe in, breathe out. Keep your thighs tight and your belly as flat as possible with energy. If you want more challenge, you can stretch those legs out. Strong arm pumping through those straight wrists. Breathe in, breathe out. Six more sets, strong in the core. If your neck is straining, put your head back down and bend your knees. Keep your belly flat and your thighs tight. Four more sets. Knees bent or straight, head up or down. Three more sets. Strong arm pumping. Deep breath. Inner thighs tight. Strong core. Last set. Shoulders down, reach, and we finish. Hug the knees in. Ah, that feels good. Come up, and we'll do a C-scoop. We'll maintain the C-scoop and do some scissor arms, but they're going to go up and down. So we hollow the belly, scoop, up and down scissor arms, keeping the belly in, keeping the C-shape, working that core. Last four, last two. Come up, butterfly release. We'll do three sets of that. Prepare, take a C-scoop, Keep the scoop and scissor the arms up and down. Keep the belly in. Soften those shoulders. Take deep breaths. Arms four, three, two, one. Come up. Take a butterfly release. Flex forward. Drop the head. Let it go. One more breath. And one more set of C-scoop scissor arms. Scoop. Stretch the arms up and down, breathe, feel the core, maintain that hollowed belly. Of course, breathing it. Last four, three, two, one. Come forward, take a butterfly release. Open the thighs, flex the body, stretch, drop the head. Take one more deep, full breath here. Rolling up and down off the mat. Sequence coming back, reach over the head. With the knees bent, start from the top and peel up. Inhale, exhale, reach out over the legs. 
Come down slowly, one vertebra at a time. Maintain an articulating quality as you roll through. Flow the energy into the stretch. Keep the shoulders soft as you pull back. One vertebra at a time returning to the mat. Feel the breath. Pull the abdominal energy down. Stretch the spine as you lower. You can have the legs straightening or the knees staying bent for two more roll-ups. Arms and head, chest, ribs peel up. Big stretch, coming back. One vertebra at a time, down to the mat. If your legs are straight, press the back of your legs down, anchoring, upper body rolling and reaching. Shoulders soft, core strong, pull through. Reach back over the head. Bring the arms to a T-shape. I'm gonna angle myself so you can see our double leg circle. Legs up, abs flat. Circle out, meet at the bottom, and pull up. Get your strong core, control the reach, squeeze to the lift. Out evenly, down to about 45 degrees before you pull up. Engage that belly, circle, meet at the bottom, flex the hips. Breathe, control, squeeze, lift. Four more. Abs are strong, supporting the low back. Thighs working evenly, open around and down. Keep the chest open, the arms in a T. Last one, control the circles, squeeze, meet at the bottom and lift, flex the hips, and pull the knees into the chest. Come up to seated for rolling like a ball. Make sure you've got mat space behind you. Hollow the belly, look down at the navel. Keep the C shape of the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep the center energy strong, pull back. Soft shoulders, hollow it. Two more times, working from that energy deep within your belly. Set up that shape, maintain it, and take your last one. Pull through. A nice counter pose stretch will be our reverse tabletop. So we're gonna push through both hands and both feet and lift the spine into an extension. Stretch your hips, stretch your shoulders, lengthen your torso, push a little higher and breathe. Lower yourself down to your sits bones, grab your thighs, lift your chest tall and stretch your legs up and down. So it's a seated hamstring stretch. Breathe and extend, lengthen and lift two more times. We'll go back to that reverse tabletop, push through all four corners, slowly lift up, stretch, stop where you need to, continue pressing a little higher if you can, lengthen, and again breathe into this expansion, stretching through your shoulders, pressing your pelvis up. As you lower slowly down, find the sits bones, you can hold the thighs like we did that other set, or you can reach the arms out, challenging the core a little bit more. Reach the legs up and down. Maybe they don't straighten completely. That's fine. Energy through the spine as you stretch the hamstrings. As I said, reaching the arms out or holding those thighs. Three more. Push up and down. Two more. Balance and extend. One more. Now we're ready to try our open leg rocker. So again, make sure that you have mat space behind you. We have that V position. Roll it back, inhale, roll it up, exhale. Pull from the core, relax the shoulders. All that energy stays connected. Let's try that three more times. Breathe in, roll to your shoulder blades, breathe out, back up to those sits bones. Feel the shape, keep the shape. Breathe through the movement. Shoulders soft, core is strong, and we have our last one. Nice job. Bring it down, bring it in. Let's go into a mermaid. Wrap both of your legs over to your right side. Feel the reach of the left arm. Stay here for a moment, give it length. Now feel the length of the spine as you flex over. 
come over the top. Put the back of that hand down and slide to your left. Keep anchoring your right hip. Reach, now activate the obliques and come back. Take the inhale of your left arm. Spine feels long and spacious as you flex over. Side obliques bring you over the top. The back of the hand is down, the shoulder is neutral. Push through that right hip and slide your body over to your left. Feel the sides of the body strong as you recover. Take the stretch, breathe in, create space. Keep the length as you flex. Use the inhale to bring you up. Back of the hand down. Push an anchor on your right hip. Slide to your left and stretch. Activate the obliques to pull safely up. One more. Left arm, big inhale, reach. Move the torso, wrap the arm. Exhale, flex. Stretch, lift your chin, lengthen your neck. Slide away from the legs and flex. Create that stretching and strengthening, pulling up to recover. We'll do the other side. Wrap the legs over to your left. Pull the feet close to you, sit tall. Inhale, right arm up, big stretch. Keep the length of the body as you flex the body over and wrap the arm. Inhale, pull over the middle. With the back of the right hand down, Slide towards that stretch, keeping the pelvis anchored. Awaken the side energy of your body. Breathe and feel a big, tall stretch. Wrap and flex over to your left. Inhale, travels you over the top. Placing the right hand down. Soft feeling through that bottom shoulder. Big side stretching reach. Oblique energy recovering. One more. Grow tall, create space, inhale up. Keep the length of the spine, flexing left. Let the inhale bring you over the top. Back of the hand down, anchor through the left hip. Slide the body to the right and use side strength and energy to come back. Going into a child's pose. Separate the fingers, pull the hips back over the heels. Feel that stretch through your spine. Take two deep breaths here. Tailbone down, fingers spread. Let's shift the weight so that the shoulders come over the wrists. Keep your core strong, tuck your toes and go into a front plank. From the front plank, you have the option to keep it with both feet down or raise the right leg. Hip height, down and up, tap lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Foot down, knees down, child's pose. Pull back, big stretch, two full breaths. Lengthen it out, one more breath. Spread the fingers, shift the weight. Square the shoulders over the wrists. Keep your core strong and extend your legs out. Strong high plank push-up static hold or left leg up. Keep it the level of the pelvis as you tap down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Foot down, knees down, child's pose, stretch back. Long reach, two deep breaths. We're going to go into down dog, and then we'll have a few variations with single leg down dog and some twisting. So shift forward, tuck your toes, lift your hips, and feel that initial down dog. Raise your heels up and down. Press onto the balls of the feet. Really loosen up through your ankles, stretch through your Achilles. Two more. Stay strong through the shoulders. Last one, hold that press. From here, raise your right leg. Keep the pelvis level. Flex the right foot. Bend the right knee. Rotate and pull the right thigh and hip back. Feel the stretch through the spine, into the hip, and into the front of that right thigh. Take another breath. 
Bring the pelvis back to level and flat. Extend the right leg out and away and lower the right foot down. Knees down, child's pose. Stretch the torso, breathe. Deep inhale and exhale. Take that weight off the arms. We'll be shifting forward to do the other side. Spread the fingers, shift the weight, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and take your down dog. Walk the dog this time. One heel up, one heel down. Alternate, loosen up. Stretch the Achilles and calves. Breathe into it, two more. Keep a strong sense of core. And we do the other leg for the single leg down dog. Left leg, reach up, feel the stretch with your pelvis level. Flex the left foot. Bend the left knee. Rotate, pull the left hip back as you twist the spine, stretch through the hip and thigh. Stay strong through the core, stay strong through your arms. Take one more breath, feeling that spiral. Untwist so your pelvis comes neutral. Extend your left leg up and out. Lower your left foot slowly down. Down to the knees for the child's pose and pull back. Feel the stretch through the spine. Draw the tailbone to the heels. And of course, take another deep, full breath. Lying on your right side, go into some side lying exercises. Bring your legs a little bit forward of your hips. See if you can keep that top left hand at your hip. As your leg travels, come forward, lift up and down, go back, lift up and down. Flex the hip, raise and lower the leg. Extend the hip, raise and lower the leg. Feel the movement, feel the control. Stretch the hamstring, activate the glute. Take the leg forward and lift. Reach it back and stretch. We'll do one more. Coming up and pulling back. Leg circles. Take the leg forward and up, around and back. Lengthen and reach, stretch. Anchor the pelvis, loosen by feeling the thigh rotate within the hip socket. The circle direction goes forward one more time. And then we'll stop at the bottom and change the path going back to the back and top, over and to the front. Long reach, circle stretch. Deep sense of core anchoring the pelvis. Shoulders staying stacked and neck staying long. And one more circle. We'll do hot potato where we tap the foot down, lift to about a 45 degree angle and tap behind the bottom leg. Suspend out. We tap and lift. Stretch behind the bottom leg and reach. Control down, suspend away. Three more times. Now that you're nice and loose, you have a choice. You can take your diagonal flexion, lying on your side, bending and stretching out. So that's option one. Option two would be to do that kneeling. So if you want a little more challenge, you're here and you're flexing and extending that top leg. We'll do that 10 times, lying on your side or on the hand and knee. Pulling it in, pushing it out, activating the core, keeping the shoulders stacked. You have four more. Flex, extend, tuck and push. Bring it in and out and finish your last one. We'll do another child's pose and pull back and stretch. Take another deep breath. We'll do that on the other side. So now you're gonna lie down on your side, left side this time. Angle the legs to the front bottom corner. Stack the hips, lift the top leg, the height of the hip. Flex forward, come up and down, stretch back, extend and lift. Feel your hamstring. Open your hip and activate your glute. Keep the spine long and straight, the core strong and supportive. Neck long, chin up, shoulders squared. Isolation of the movement with breath. Flex the hip, lift the leg up and down, extend the hip, reach the thigh back one more time. Press 
And now we'll take circles. Take that right leg forward, reach up around to the back. Circle with control, smooth, feeling a constant speed to these circles. Full breath. Stable anchored pelvis. Shoulders nice and stacked. Take one more circle in the front direction. Get to the bottom and change the path. Circle to the back. Bring the leg up, around to the front and down. Long stretching reach all the way through. Feel that thigh rotate within the hip socket. Get a sense of pelvic anchoring and breath. All the way through, one more to the back and on your way down, hot potato, tapping the floor, stretching out. Down and back, lifting up. Control, called hot potato because that tap is nice and light, like the floor is hot. Stretch and reach, suspend, tap and breathe, lengthen. Last three, down and up, two, and one. You may lay on your side and do your diagonal flexion and extension, bringing it in and out, or you can switch to your hand and knee and flex and extend. In and out. Feel strong. Your top hand can be at your hip, behind your head. Nice body lengthening feeling, core supporting reach. Exhale, feel that medial glute. Push out through that heel. Breathe into this four. Flex, bend and reach three. Tuck it across, extend two. In and out, last one. Bring it down, child's pose. Stretch everything out nice and long. We're going to be going into some chair poses and some standing knee balances. So go ahead and shift your weight, tuck your toes, go to a down dog. Walk your hands to your feet, let your spine hang. Let your neck relax. Breathe into the stretch of those hamstrings. Check that your feet are parallel, about hip width apart. As you bend at your knees and hips, pull your tailbone back, reach your arms out, feel that length of your spine energize through your fingertips. From here, stand up, raise your right knee in front of you, and your arms out to a T-shape. Balance with energy and alignment, keeping your core strong. As the right foot lowers, both arms go up, Pull back into chair pose. Bend at the knees and hips, extend the spine, reach with energy through the fingertips, feel it, reach it. Standing up this time as your left knee coming up. Thigh pulled up, knee bent, torso aligned, arms in a T. Arms overhead, left foot down. Keep that going, I'll face front for the next two. Pull back into chair pose. Deep stretch, energize the torso and fingertips. Pull up with the right knee, up, arms out, tall aligned spine. Right foot down, both arms up, reach. Feel the stretch, pull back. Continue the energy through the spine. As you lift up, change to the other leg, lifting up, spine tall, arms in a T, active core, Balance and take one more breath. Place the foot down, reach the arms over the head. Bring the arms beside you, walk back out to a plank. Bring your hands to the mat. Walk forward and hold that high plank. Let's really strengthen that core and do some knee tucks. Thigh pull up to the elbow, alternate sides. Feel the opening of the hip. If you need a break, put your knees down and do another child's pose. Otherwise, keep that straight spine, keep that breath. We have six more. Knee to the outside of the elbow, spine long. Flex it up, push it back. Last two, strengthen that belly. Last one. Knees down, a quick child's pose, and come forward on your stomach. Spine extension with T arms. Legs long and straight. Keep your belly lifted, chest up and down. Exhale, lift and lower. Feel that length, get strong. 
Feel that stretch. Deep breath. Awaken that energy. Four more. Chest up and down. Reach through the head and lift. Strong through your spine and breathe. T-arm lift. One more. Turn the head. Put the chest down with the hands on your back. Drop your elbows. Keep your belly lifted. Bend your knees. Kick the feet back three times. Extend the legs. Lift the chest. Reach back. Arms over the head. Starfish. The arms and legs are extended and you close and open. So it's the width of the mat and then to the center point. Keeping the belly lifted, the knees straight, squeezing your inner thighs. Four, three, two, one. We'll do the other side. Turn the head the other way. Lower that cheek down, chest is down, hands on the back, drop the elbows, pull the belly up, bend the knees, keep the pelvis stable, kick your feet back three times. Stretch your legs, extend, reach your arms back. With your spine extended, circle up. Arms and legs, the width of the mat. Squeeze in and out, close and open. Abs pulled up, spine is still extended, legs are long. Four, three, two, one, and finish. Hands on the mat, hips up. Child's pose, stretch back. Lengthen everything out. Draw that tailbone down. Come to a seated position. This is a seated double leg développé. Your weight is back on your hands, soft elbows. Bend your knees, extend your legs, flex foot, push down. Knees in, legs up, flex through the heels, lower slowly down. Bend it, stretch it. Control it. In and up. Push through. Chest, stretch, flex. Tuck, extend, get stronger. Last three. Feel that core. Push it up. Pull it down. Last one. And finish. Cross your right ankle over your left. Inhale, arms up and down. Take the right arm up behind your head, left arm behind your back, and take a nice open chest, tall spine lift. One more breath here. Let's keep that right arm where it is. Release the left one over. Grab the elbow. Anchor down through your right hip. Flex your body to your left. Take a nice big stretch. One more time. Return tall to the top and let the arms come down. Change, left ankle in front, inhale, exhale. Left arm up and over behind your head, right arm down and under behind your back, fingertips towards each other. A tall energy through your spine with a wide expanded chest, neck long, chin up. Keep that left arm in place, release the right arm out and open. See if you can grab that elbow. Now anchor down on your left hip. Flex your body over to your right and take two deep breaths. Anchoring down on the left and flexing right. Bring it back to the center and release. Today we're doing teaser. So it's a roll-up exercise and a hinging energy coming down. Arms overhead, strong pelvic anchoring. Flow through the reach, arms, head, chest. Peel up to a nice straight spine. Keep that spine straight and hinge your body back. Roll down slowly. Sacrum, lumbar, thoracic spine. Arms overhead, start strong in your core. Flow with the breath, peel up. Strong center energy, lift tall. Straight spine hinge, open that angle at the hip and let the energy bring you back slowly with control. You may do that with both feet down or you can try the right leg extended. Anchor and roll, inhale, peel up, exhale, lift tall. Keep that straight spine hinge back, pull from the belly, roll down. 
and let's try that again. Breath full as you travel, sequencing and articulating up. Spine stays long and strong as you hinge, and a stretching quality rolling down. If you're choosing to straighten your leg, let's do the other side. So right foot down, left leg out. Breathe, arms, head, chest. Articulate, peel, roll up. Hinge the spine, opening the angle at the hip. Pull down, stretching, returning, lengthening. Last time. Teaser, inhale, up and roll. Peel into the lift and stretch. Hinge the body back. Come down with that slow, controlled reach. And finish. Hug the knees into your chest. From here, we will do crisscross, tabletop legs, head up, elbows wide. Bend your right knee, bring your left chest and shoulder across. Reverse, inhale up, exhale, twist. Pull across, spiral, breathe it in, twist. Take that lift, anchor that pelvis. Really feel those obliques, rotate at the waist, try to move the rib cage, check in with your elbows, they should be nice and wide, open so your chest is expanded. Let's do six. Push, lift, twist, knee to the midline, use the obliques, breathe in and out, and finish. Head down, hug the knees into the chest. Take a nice deep breath. And as I promised you, we are going to finish up with some standing exercises. So go ahead and make your way to standing. If you'd like to be on your mat, that's great, but you can be on a solid hardwood floor as well. So start with your body nice and tall. In our warm up, we did our arm swing. We're gonna do that here and add a little knee balance, but let's get started by bringing the arms up, bend the knees and sweep down and up. We'll do that two more times before we lift the knee. Let it release, stretch tall. On the next one, when you come up, your right knee will raise in front. So you're gonna hold that position for a moment and then go down, sweep, swing it, left knee. So you'll be alternating sides six more times. Sweep down, knee up, exhale, swing it through and stretch it. Exhale, release it and lift it. Three more, swing down, balance up. Two more, exhale, inhale. And last time, sweep and reach and finish. Bring that all down. We'll do our lateral lunges, starting to the right. Step out and come in. Press away and come in. The option will bring the knee up to balance. Exhale, inhale. Hinge the body forward. Come from that core. Press into it. Squeeze to the midline. Down and up. Opening right. Two more. Feel the stretch. Strengthen and pull through. Last time. We'll be doing the other side. Out to your left. Lateral lunge. And return. Step out. Use the core. Cushion it and engage it. Exhale, inhale. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs, tall through your spine. Use that energy, breathe into that press. Opening down to the left, centering tall. Last two, pull up. One more and finish. Wide plie stance, arm circles, bend the knees, lower the arms, straighten the legs, lift the arms. Stretch the hips, take a deep breath, down and up. Two more, flex and reach. One more. Let's bring the arms to the T-shape and bend the knees. 
Keep a strong core and raise your heels up and down. Feel strong through your center. Roll to the balls of the feet. Knees are wider, hips are going lower. You're using that center energy. Raise and press. Fight for these last four, three, two. Now keep your positioning. Keep your right arm to the side. Put your left hand behind your head and laterally flex your torso. Out and center. Side and return. Exhale, inhale. Knees are wide, hips are low. Take the flexion, use the obliques. Three more going to your right. Move it, return it. Exhale it, inhale it. I'm gonna let you straighten your knees. Take a nice deep breath. We have the other side. Bend the knees, bring the arms beside you. Keep that left one out. Right hand behind the head and we flex it over. Side stretch. Exhale down. Keep your spine long, chest open, chin up. Breathe out, breathe in. Knees wider, hips lower. Move the torso. Side flex, use the obliques. Let's go again to the left. Three more. Out and over, down and up. Last one, and we get to straighten. Bring it back to neutral. Nice parallel stance, arms up. Start marching with your right knee coming up and alternate seven times. Last three. Hold the right knee up. Extend the leg out. And flex and point your foot. Two more. As this leg goes back, the arms will open to a T. Now we're gonna bend the knee behind us using a hamstring curl. Continue that. I'll angle a bit so you can see. Nice tall spine, strong core, abs engaged. Last three. Put the foot down, bring the arms up. We'll start our marches now on the left. Seven, six, five, four. Last three. Hold the left knee up and stay with it. Extend the leg straight ahead. Flex and point the foot while you balance and activate the spine. Stretch through the calf, two more. As that left leg goes back, arms go out, bend the knee, activate the hamstring, flex behind you. I'll angle side so you can see a little better. Curl up, body tall. Stretch the hip and thigh. Keep that core active. Heel up, three, two, and one. Let's take a Pilates stance, which is rotated thighs, a V-shape of the feet, arms beside you. Bend the knees, lift the heels, stretch the legs, lower the heels. Again, bend the knees wide, lift the heels up, straighten and feel strong, lower down. Knees, heels, legs extend, lower. Two more, knees out. Press through the heels, stretch the legs, lower last time, knees wide, heel press, stretch, and lower. Raise your arms in a low V, now raise your heels. Try to keep that energy while you make circles through your arms. Travel those arms upward, stop, travel the arms back down, circle, and then lower the heels. Two more sets. Arms in a low V, heels raise. Keep that strength. Circle the arms and travel them upward. Stop there, reverse, travel them, coming down. Tall spine, strong core. Stop circling to lower. One more set. Arms in a low V, heels raise. Heels stay lifted while you circle. Travel. Stop circling. Reverse, come back, lower down, stop circling, and lower. Let's take a wide stance with the hands behind the low back. Press the knees out and up. Feel the stretch. 
And then let's take the arms to a T, bend to the right, reach the arm over, and return. Lunge to the left, and return. Bend that right knee and reach that left arm, come back, bend the left knee and reach the right arm. So you're strong in your core, lunging with a nice long line. Exhale, inhale, stretch it out, return it center. Breathe, last two, left side, and finish. Take that back to neutral. Inhale, arms up. You want to use your left hand to grab your right wrist and take a side flexion. Exhale it out. Come back to the top. Let the arms swing down and reverse. Grab onto that left wrist and flex over to the right. Come back tall. Let the arms just swing down. And this time, bring the right arm up. Lift up and flex a little farther to the left. More stretch. Wrap that arm over. Take another breath there. Activate the oblique energy to pull tall and switch. Bringing the left arm up. Flex the body to the right. Wrap the arm. Stretch the side body. Feel the reach. Use the oblique energy to pull you back and release. One more on each side. Right arm nice and tall. Lift. Side body flex, left, wrap. Strong feeling as you reach and return. Last time, left arm up, flex to the right. Feel the stretch through the side body as you wrap the arm over your head. Use the oblique energy and strength to come up. Let the arm come down. Let's finish with breathing, tall and strong through the torso, arms opening. Finish your last one with the arms coming up and pushing beside you. I hope you enjoyed that tri-level Pilates class, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.